In this problem, we're given three points on a plane, and we have to find the equation of the plane. Let's go ahead and work through it. So first of all, the formula for the equation of a plane is the following. It's a parentheses x minus x sub 0 plus b parentheses y minus y sub 0 plus c and then parentheses z minus z sub 0. And this is all equal to 0. So the point x0, y0, z0 is a point on our plane. So we can use any of these three points. So I'm thinking we'll use this one here because it's the easiest one to use. So the only thing we have to figure out in this problem then is the ABC. So the vector ABC is called our normal vector. So normal vector. And this ve vector is perpendicular to the plane. So all we have to do is find a vector that is perpendicular to the plane. So the idea is that we have three points on the plane. So one, two, three. And so if we have two points, we can find a vector. If we have two more points, we can find a vector. And then what we do is we find a vector that is perpendicular to these by taking the cross product. So this vector will be orthogonal to our other two vectors. And this will be our ABC. So step one is to form two vectors on the plane. To do that, we'll use the whole terminal minus initial um, formula. So to find the first vector, which I'll call u, let's use these two points here. So this the second point will be the terminal point. This first point here will be our initial point. So you just subtract the components. So 2 minus 0, 0 minus 0, and then 7 minus 0. Again, it's terminal minus initial. We're thinking of this point here, 2, 0, 7, as our terminal point, and 0, 0, 0 as our initial point. So this vector here is 2, 0, 7. So it's pretty much just like the point. Uh, v, same thing, terminal minus initial. Let's use this same initial point, 0, 0, 0. So negative 2 minus 0. It's kind of silly to show all this work, but it's good to really see what's going on because maybe you're, you're doing a problem and maybe it's not 0, 0, 0, it's something else. So you do actually have to subtract. So this will be negative 2, negative 1, 7. So these two vectors are on the plane. These are on plane. That's these green vectors here, which, which I drew over here. So now we have to find this other vector, ABC, which is perpendicular to them. So to do that, all we do is find the cross product. So let's go ahead and find our cross product. So U cross V is equal to, and recall for the first row, you just use I, J, K. So I hat, J hat, K hat. And then in the second row, it's whatever vector is written first. So we wrote the u first, so it'll be 2, 0, 7. And in the last row, it's whatever vector is here. So that'll be negative 2, negative 1, and then 7. And the pattern is plus, minus, plus. And what you do is you just expand along the first row. So first it's i hat, and it's positive i hat because it's plus. And then you cross out the first column and first row, and you write down the determinant of the remaining submatrix, which is just 0, 7, negative 1, 7. If you're curious, this determinant is called a minor. That's from uh, linear algebra. And then it's minus j hat. Then you write down the bars. This time you cross out the second column and the first row. So we're left with 2, negative 2, 7, 7. Let me go ahead and show you exactly what's being crossed out. I don't like to do it too much because I can't really erase, but so there it is, we're crossing that out. So we're left with two negative two, seven, seven. And the last one is plus, and then we go to k hat. And now we cross out the last column and the first row. So again, I'll go ahead and cross it out for you so you see. So crossing out the first row and the third column, we're left with, we're left at it with a determinant of this submatrix. 2, 0, negative 2, negative 1. Okay, so let's see. This is i hat. 
parentheses, and then you just multiply these numbers, so 0 times 7, so 0 times 7, minus 7 times negative 1, minus j hat, right, because it was that times that. The next one would be 2 times 7, so 2 times 7, minus, and then 7 times negative 2, so 7 times negative 2, and then plus k hat, and this would be 2 times negative 1, so 2 parentheses negative 1, minus 0, and then parentheses negative 2. All right, let's be really careful here. Let's see what happens. So we have, so this is going to be 0, then we have negative and negative, so 7 i hat. Uh, let's see, minus, and then what's this, what's going to happen here? This is 14, ooh, this is also 14, right, because it's negative and negative. 7 times 2 is 14. So 14 plus 14 is 28. So we have negative 28 j hat. And then way over here, um, this is 0, and this is negative 2, so minus 2 k hat. I'm going to write this in component form because I like that better. This is 7, negative 28, negative 2. So this is our normal vector. So this vector is perpendicular to our plane or orthogonal to our plane. So it's our normal vector. And the components of the normal vector are a, b, and c. And those are the a, b, and c that we actually use for the formula. So recall the formula was a, parentheses, x minus x sub 0, plus b, parentheses, y minus y sub 0, plus c, parentheses, z minus z sub 0. And this is all equal to 0. So our a is 7. Oh, and we decided that our x naught, y naught, z naught uh, was just going to be 0, 0, 0 from the beginning. Let me scroll up so you can see it in case you forgot. There it is up there. Right? We decided to use this one. You could use any of these, and you'll get the same answer. It might not look like the same answer, but you can actually manipulate it and make it look like the other answers. So a is 7. So we get 7, x minus 0. B is negative 28, so negative 28, y minus 0. And then C is negative 2, so negative 2, um, and then Z minus 0. And that's equal to 0. So we can just rewrite this and make it look pretty. So our final answer is going to be 7x minus 28y minus 2z. And this is all equal to 0. And that would be our final answer. That is the equation of the plane. So given three points, to find the equation of a plane, you find two vectors by subtracting the components. And then you take the cross product, and that gives you your normal vector. And then you can just pick any point and your normal vector and plug it into your formula, and you are done. That's it.